Hello everyone. I am Dr. B. Pernell Anderson here, responding to a challenge slash encouragement slash admonition from um, a good friend from last year who said, we need your voice, Pernell. Just do a videotape of something that's on your mind related to what you're thinking about regarding um, black folks and um, just start there every week, she said. So I didn't do it in 2018 and here it is, 2019, and I'm committed to um, step out of my comfort zone, um, do some things that I've always longed to do. So. Some things are in the works in terms of actual projects. However, to actually make use of social media as a platform um, is gonna be a new endeavor for me in terms of finding that personal professional um, balance with social media as an outlet. So let me just start with something that's on my mind because one of my mentors from my graduate program in community psychology, Baba Kobe Cambone transitioned on New Year's Eve and I just seen him at the Association of Black Psychologists convention the end of June. I was so happy to see him and so grateful that I asked him 50 questions when I had a chance to see him in the lobby like just kind of have some time more direct personal time with him um, but just you never know what life is going to bring and so in my mind I thought oh my goodness so glad to get reconnected with Baba Kobe and just could see myself seeing him at every ABCI convention for the next umpteen years and to know that that was my last time it's actually been um, uh, pretty heartbreaking um, because because of him I decided to get my doctorate after the master's in community psychology he was so encouraging to all of his students. He saw greatness in each of us. And he would encourage us and say the ancestors, their lives, their struggles, all of what they've done have paved the way. Paved the way. And we don't have a right not to work, not to strengthen our minds, not to invest every ounce of our academic selves into the liberation of African people. And his love for African people was just palpable. Like, there's no way that you could and have an encounter with him and not see his love, not just through his words, but even his actions. Um, he would, no matter who the student was, I don't care what their background was, this was a master's program, but they could have had a bachelor's in sociology, no familiar, familiarity with psychology, whatever their background was, he would always encourage every student to pursue getting their doctorate, to keep working hard, and that if they chose not to, whatever they did, make sure it was in the service of African black liberation. And there's so many, 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 many memories and lessons that have been flooding my mind over this past week and a half since he transitioned. And I guess I just wanna say like, I'm encouraged to keep doing my own internal work around how, I've, how I have internalized um, the oppression of black folks and just the parts of me that still have anti-black ways of thinking about things, um, even with all the work I've done around saying, hey, we are beloved as African descended people and we have so much to give to ourselves as well as to the world. There's still ways in which I have to catch my mindset and say, hold on, that's the impact of all the socialization through the Ma'afa all of the socialization through Jim Crow, all the social socialization that says black is inferior to white. And so my hope is when I do these videos that maybe I touch on something to have you think in a different way or a new way about um, what it means to be beloved as a black person, what it means to um, have the dignity inherent in who you are, who you've been created to be, and that we've internalized so much shame to believe that we are inferior, that we are subhuman or non-human. And um, the, the ways in which um, those messages have been infiltrated, oftentimes we aren't even conscious of. And so I'm hoping that with each of these videos, I highlight something that helps you to think about, oh, 
that actually is a very anti-black way of being in the world in addition to talk about some ways in which um the wholesome parts of who we are in terms of our african sense of ourselves can be um, grown developed nurtured as well as um uh, set on fire to illuminate um, for other peoples um, and particularly for our community because we need that so here's to the first video and um, I'm looking forward to uh, weekly putting something out that says um, black folks are beloved and I love the fact that Baba Kobe um, he embodied that he knew it in his bones that we um, as a people were deeply not just gifted but deeply valued and um, valuable and worthy um, you felt it with every word that came out of his mouth so I'm grateful um, to have known him and to for him to have planted so many seeds in my life um, emotionally mentally spiritually um, the seeds um, are certainly there they've taken root and um, I'm gonna make him proud um, even as he's transitioned to the other side as an ancestor, I am going to make him proud to use everything he's given and um, all the rest of the scholars that um, have continued to devote their lives to the cause of African-centered psychology. All right, until the next time. Bye.